Vou ficar só com ele real quick. Seis vidas do. First of all, I want to start this video by saying that my heart goes out to all the people involved in the Astroland incident. There were many people who were killed and injured, and many more who were traumatized by the events that have unfolded there. One of the main motivating forces behind my content is that I want to help people understand themselves and the world around them on a much deeper level. And part of that understanding involves identifying patterns and behavior traits, both in ourselves and those around us. Once I saw what happened at Astro World during Travis Scott's performance, I noticed a few things that I felt warranted a video. Now, I've stated before that the totality of the human existence is simply a contrast between love and fear. Now, I've mapped this behavior pattern to a model that I call the sine wave psyche model. One of the biggest patterns that I started to recognize a few years ago is a simple fact that highly developed spiritual beings express empathy. People who are unable or unwilling to express empathy actually are hosts for demonic or inferior negative energy state entities. So what I'm saying is a lack of empathy produces a spiritual chasm in the psyche of the individual. Now certain people just are better at showing empathy than others. There are other people who have zero ability or zero willingness to show empathy. And what I found is that as these people age and grow older, these behavior patterns of being a non-empathic being result in negative state characteristics. These negative state characteristics manifest themselves in bad behavior patterns, bad characteristics, bad personalities, and this creates a realm where demonic energy, where demons can exist. And this is very interesting when we compare this statement to the actions of Travis Scott at Astral World. Because when I look at him, when I see videos of him at this performance where people are being pulled from the crowd who are either dead or unconscious, what does he do? He continues with his performance. He shows zero empathy towards the people who are suffering. And you might say he amplified their suffering by continuing the show. He just as easily could have paused or stopped the show and addressed the crowd, which he had control over. So if we're looking at the model of the psyche, the negative domain is the domain where you'll land when you show no empathy. Now, if you make a habit of showing no empathy throughout the day and you continue this habit for several years, what that means is you will be landing in the negative domain consistently. And that creates what I call a negative state potential in the human psyche. In other words, the spiritual induction potential of your psyche is very poor. And as a result, you're opening yourself up to psychic parasites. These parasites like to promote negative state situations, both in the psyche and in the environment, in the physical world that we see surrounding us. And this is 
purely evident by Travis Scott's performance and his behavior at Astro World. When I saw Travis Scott in the video and him performing while people were dying in front of his face, in front of his performance, what did he do? He chose to not show empathy and go forward with his ego-based body worship idolatry that is strictly grounded in the material realm. It is completely devoid of any spiritual substance whatsoever. And all these people are worshiping this guy. And look what happened. So if we can recognize these behavior patterns, if we can recognize these traits as a human species, we can begin to understand who the demons are, who's here to help us, and who's here to condemn us. That's all I really wanted to cover in this video. I just wanted to make it very short and to the point. And honestly, when I meet anybody or go throughout the day, I, I always ask myself, is this person showing any kind of empathy towards me? And Travis Scott provides an example of what happens when a lack of empathy is taken to an extreme. So certainly there's a broad spectrum that can be displayed in terms of being an empathic being and a non-empathic being. But the closer you get to negative one in my sine wave psyche model, the more likely and the stronger pull that you will have towards the demonic realm. And if you're not aware of the demonic realm, and if you're not aware that this demonic realm exists in people with inferior spiritual development, then you're going to leave yourself open to what many people call like psychic attacks or energy vampires. We're all talking about the same thing here. It's just expressed with different words. Energy vampires do not express empathy. It's a fact, and you'll see that observed throughout the day as you begin to notice these patterns that I'm pointing out to you. So the lesson for the day is empathy is good. It produces higher vibrations within the human being, the human spirit. It leads to an increased state of awareness. And when you see somebody, when you experience a person who is unwilling or unable to express any kind of empathy towards you in any way, then you should tread lightly. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be around these people altogether, but maybe you should think twice before you go to a concert and idolize somebody who is demonstrating to you that they're a demon.